Yeah, I am tea, as in tea, like the kind you drink, and goo, as in glue without the L. Um, but most people just call me tea, as in the letter, or the kind you drink. Uh, I'm a new face to the channel, and I'm subbing in for today. Um, so five things trans guy can't go without. Um, so, this is different for everyone. These are not things that every trans guy needs. They're just things that I personally can't really go without and greatly help dysphoria issues. So then, I am going to start with fairly basics. Binders, which most, well, yeah, most trans guys use. They're binding their chest properly without having too many problems. Um, I have the double front compression from Underworks. Hopefully we'll be getting a new one. I also have my tri top from Underworks, which I wear every pretty much every day because my ribs cannot handle anything else. I also have my Velcro tri top, which I really only use this in the summer because it has really good airflow, but it doesn't quite bind properly. Hmm. And number two would be Mr. Venus. A lot of people have had issues with these, but for me, for me, it works really well. And now I dropped it on the floor. Oh well. But first time I got to have an experience using it in public was at Creating Change this year and it has saved me quite a few times from being in really awkward situations but it works really well for me third thing would be a packer if I had one hopefully that will change soon but third thing is my flannels and button-ups and plaids. I have almost 20 of them. Yes, this one is rainbow. <laughs> it is my favorite. But any sort of button-up, baggy button-ups that are my serious friends, um, they help disguise things that I would not like other people to notice. So patterns are very good at distracting and the they're just comfy. Note I have issues with having the sleeves rolled down though. I just can't do it. Can't do it. So four would be beanies. I forgot to grab my pile of beanies. But I have six or seven most of them were handmade for me I have two that are like this but most of them were crocheted or knitted and I have one really adorable frog one that was knitted for me by my aunt and amusingly knitted for me by my aunt given to me by my grandma but I have a lot of them and when my hair decides that it is going to do things like never get to be cut properly and in a masculine fashion, I can just cover it up with a beanie. And it also is a really big comfort thing, especially with living in somewhere that is quite often cold and rainy and kind of miserable. Um, it also goes along with comfort clothes are a really big thing. Like, if I am not comfortable in my clothes, I will not feel good about myself. But I do actually 
feel good and confident. So the last thing, number five, would be it's not exactly something that people would typically use as something that they like a trans guy needs. But for me, as I was thinking about it, my number five is things that help you eat calm. Like my books, my reading, or my writing, well, reading and writing whatever I can, my notebooks ridiculous amount of art supplies that my room is covered in. Um, I use mainly my reading to help me remember that I am not alone in the scariness of everything that's going on. Um, I finally realized the books are what f helped me finally realize that I was not an oddity. They helped me realize that even though I didn't quite fit in the community I was trying to fit in, there was one that I did fit in. Um, some of the most helpful books for me have been anything written by Leslie Feinberg, which I have been extremely glad to find. Um, also, I think I have close to 30-ish books that are involving the LGBTQ community. Um, which I've also used them a lot to help other people. Like, I believe currently three, maybe four of my books are being loaned out. And like, I have two, three of other people's. For me, it's been a big part of figuring out who I am and helping others do as well. So thank you for listening through all of this. I apologize for the parts that I kind of rambled a bit. Um, I hope that any future videos are a lot more well put together than this. So thank you. Bye.